Today we're going to be taking a look at monitoring online leasing activity. Um, so here on our today page, this is sort of our default setup of the way things might look. Um, yours may look different, may not, but what we're going to do is we're going to add a new module to this page, which will help us monitor online leasing activity. So to do that, we're going to come up to this little customize button in the upper right corner. If you don't have this customized button, let me know and I can get it for you. This grid is a representation of what we have on our today page. So external guest cards is this guy, appointments is here, availability summary, you get the picture. We can move these things wherever we want to, right? So we want to come over into this drop down menu and find online leasing responsive. That will give us this online leasing responsive activity option, which we're just going to click and drag over onto this page. Now, personally, I think online leasing responsive activity is a very important part of our page, so I want to put it towards the top. I'm just going to do a little bit of reorganization here. And move these things out of the way so that I can get something that I think is very important front row right up at the top there. Just do a little more rearranging here, get things just the way I want them. And you can play around with this, make sure it, it suits your liking. Um, everyone's page is individual, so you can do what works best for you. I lost my level one call recording there. I dragged it a little too far. So we're just going to come up in here. That's under Crossfire. You can see it says level one call recordings here. It's not exactly intuitive, but if you do, if you poke around, you'll find everything you need in there. So I'll just throw that down at the bottom. I'm going to save, <clears throat> and then our page is reconfiguring itself. See up here in the top, right where I put it, the online leasing responsive activity section. We're just going to wait for everything to sort of come into view here. Okay. Well, it looks like it takes up a little more space than I expected to, so I can customize that and move it around. But for our purposes, we're just going to dive in here. So um, <laughs> any of these columns can be sorted if you just click on them. That'll be a tremendous help in keeping yourself organized and knowing what's going on. I think probably some of those important sorting options would be to sort by leasing consultant. You can see who doesn't have a leasing consultant and then hit it again and you'll put all the people who do have leasing consultants on the top so we can see all of our tom people we can flip through a couple pages until we find our next leasing agent that would be nora she's gone so we're gonna have to reassign some of those then we got matt we have some of that stuff jim stuff so sorting by leasing consultant will really help you here um, another way to sort, which will be really helpful, is to sort by unit. You can see what individuals have not selected a unit yet, and which individuals have. Obviously, these people are farther along in the process. They've got their unit, they've got move-in date set, some of them have lease signed. So these options are super useful for monitoring our applicants as they go along through the process. Uh, you can choose activity dates if you're looking for something specific. Um, you can sort by a person, search for a person's name or email. Uh, there's a bunch of different functions in here that will help you monitor exactly what's going on with your online leasing applicants. And of course, if you have any questions about it or any trouble with it, you can just give me a call. Um, I look forward to hearing from you.